Hi, welcome back to Pro Shop. It's Pete here. And Anika and Brian is down there. And in this video, we are building an ice bath. If you're new to the channel, welcome. At Pro Shop, we mainly build custom cars. Anika and I have always wanted an ice bath. And today we are going to be using the skills and the knowledge that we have of building custom cars on an ice bath. We got um, very, very carried away. This is nothing like we thought it would be. And we're gonna show you how we built I would have to say the best ice bath out of a chest freezer in the world. So stick around and we'll show you how it's done. We've been doing ice baths for a while now and they usually consist of a blow up pool filled with some water and a few bags of ice. We want to do them more regularly so we were determined to find a more efficient way. After doing a lot of research we figured we would just build our own for a fraction of the cost of the most expensive ones by modifying a chest freezer. We ended up finding one for free that a school canteen was giving away because they thought it was broken. It was the perfect size so we thought why not try and fix it. All it needed was to change out the old starting capacitor for the compressor and fit a new motor for the fan. Then it was back up and running again. Before we could fill it with water, we had to seal it first. All the corners and edges were sealed up with pool silicon to stop any leaks. So we vacuumed it out, we've cleaned it out with some wax and grease remover, and now it's time to get silly. We wanted to build the best ice bath we could, so the chest freezer needed some upgrades. First, a thermometer to control the temperature as we didn't want to turn it into a giant ice block. The Ink Bird thermometer has a programmable display to keep the temperature where we want it. Anywhere from 4 to 8 degrees Celsius will be fine. To avoid either emptying the water every few weeks or putting chemicals in it to stop with any bacteria or algae buildup, we decided to use a small ozone generator from a spa to clean the water. By adding a small water pump, it will suck water in from the bath into an injector venturi where it mixes with the ozone and will clean and sterilize the water. This all had to be mounted on the outside of the bath, so we had to drill a few holes through the side. This has to be done very carefully as not to puncture the coolant lines. I first removed the outer skin and dug out the insulation to reveal the lines. Now we can mark and drill the holes. You can see in here. Oh. You can see in there the, the lines that run through here. And uh, I managed to get a nice size hole right through to the other side there. And then I'll do one here. There'll be an in and an out for the water filter. So the big problem is that people end up putting pumps like aquarium pumps and stuff inside the ice bath and that means there's power running in. We didn't want to do that. So we've done external pump and a filter on the outside, but we need to get the water in somehow. So we've got these uh, tank bungs and uh, you see here, just a, like a bulkhead, half inch. And these will go as an outlet and an inlet. 
so it will circulate the water. The only thing that would be sticking in will be a temperature probe. And what I used is a nozzle for a silicon gun and just trimmed it down. And that's gonna be silicon in there. And then the temperature probe can stick in and it will just stick out of there. If you'll see over here on the bench, where we have everything set up, this is the temperature probe. So this will just go in there and just stick out. And we can silicon the back and silicon that in nice and easy. After letting it set overnight, we came back the next day to fill it up, run the pump and test for leaks. What you doing? Filling it up. Leak test. Instead of blocking the drain hole, I thought we would just fit a tap to the outside and if we ever needed to empty the water, we could just fit a hose to it and let it run into the garden. Now with all the cars that are built here, I always use a ute bed or truck bed liner to paint and seal the underside of the car. It is extremely durable, waterproof, UV resistant and protects from chemicals, fuels, salt water and much more. This Raptor liner can be used on a wide variety of surfaces so we decided to paint the inside of the ice bath with it. I've always used the black liner, however this time we decided to use the tintable one and add a little blue to the mix. Before we begin to mask up the unpainted surfaces, we first have to rough up the smooth surfaces and paint the plastic parts with the plastic primer. This will help with the adhesion for the bed liner. So, in painting, the majority of the work is in the prep. Try not to get overspray on everything, so we just mask everything up nice and tight. Hey bro, what are you doing? Nothing to do with You wanna share? No way man. Do you wanna share? Okay, so what we've got to do, because this is the uh, tintable Raptor liner, we're gonna put our colour in. So I set 100 mils of colour into the bottle and then 237 mils of the hardener in, shake it up, put the gun in there, spray it on. It should be that simple.
How satisfying is it? The stainless lids had quite a few dents in them, so I thought that we should smooth them out before we painted them. This was totally not needed, and I justified doing this by telling Anika that it was a good time to teach her how to use body filler. What you doing? Just filling in your body. <laughs> I don't think anyone ever has body filled a chest the, freezer. The a chest free, freezer. A free lid. chest freezer. <laughs> After priming the lids, we then sanded the sides of the freezer to rough them up and then it was time to paint the outside with more Raptor liner. The blue came up that good on the inside and on all the plastics. I thought, well, let's just do the whole thing and we had some left over. We just tinted this one black, obviously. And now we've got the fun part. The this reveal. I'm picking, I'm picking all of it. Very, just gotta, gotta go very carefully. Now I've got to reassemble it all. So hinges on. Okay. Handles on. Just a little bit of chrome. <laughs> wow. All the electricals were mounted onto a board and fixed to the side of the bath. We didn't want any water to splash onto them, so I quickly folded up an aluminium cover to protect it all. Finally, it was time to turn it on and make sure it's working before filling it completely with water. Well, there you go, guys. We believe we have built the best chest freezer ice bath in the world and we've come in under $1,000. To break it all down, we spent $365 on getting the chest freezer up and running with a new fan motor and a starter capacitor. The low voltage pump and adapter were around $70. The ozone generator and injector venturi a little over $100. The thermometer was around $50. We spent around 100 bucks on hoses, fittings, silicon, etc. The Raptor liner was $300 for the 4 litre kit and that comes to a grand total of $984.86. So you're probably wondering why people get into a bath of freezing water. Athletes have long been using ice baths for recovery 
However, it came to the forefront by a man named Wim Hof, aka the Iceman. Wim Hof has set records for his ability to withstand freezing temperatures without suffering hypothermia. As humanity has evolved, technology has made us more and more comfortable. In summer, we put the aircon on, in winter, we put the heater on, and we've lost our ability to survive and thrive in extreme environments. The things we have built to make our lives easier have in fact made us weaker. Cold exposure trains us to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. By doing this, we're better able to manage stress in our life. Something that you may not know about Pete and I is that we are very health conscious. I am a yoga teacher and meditation teacher and Pete and I are always working to be the best version of ourselves. We will be doing a 28 day ice bath challenge. Yes, one ice bath a day for 28 days, working up to three minutes cold exposure. After our month long challenge, we'll do an update video just to see how the ice bath is holding up. I want to have the water tested to see if the ozone generator is doing its job. I also want to see how efficient it is and test how much power it's using. If you want to know when that video comes out, hit the notification bell. Obviously this is something a little different than what we usually do on this channel and we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and share it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.